Uh, this is Tilak. Welcome back to Past Formula tutorial. In our last session, we saw like you know, how to create a first pass formula. And we combine that. Now we'll go back to that first formula. We see that uh, like you know, we'll exp I'll explain you again a little bit of like what I missed it. Then we run the fast formula through the application. Okay, I'm going to composition. Fast formula, fast formula. Okay. I release that display. Okay. I'm coming. Okay, I'm not doing anything here. Let's, yeah, let's just go for the correct one. Okay. I'll explain a little bit of like what we do. I'll explain these buttons. Okay. In my understanding, saving is you can save it when you are developing a fast formula, then you can continue on editing it. Once you submit, then basically, like you, know, you have to go back to that that list. Then you have to come back to edit that, unless you can't edit that. Okay, that's what it is. And uh, what else is that? Okay, we haven't used this part. Like we haven't used any of this uh, like an input values, so you don't need to declare that. It is not necessarily we need to declare that part. And this I'll show you where the, that log will be displayed. And the condition is basically I'm making as a three if conditions. Actually, you can put it in a one condition as a and with and conditions. Okay, we'll do that in a later. This one. What else is the return value? Okay. The thing is, like um, I sh when I was explaining the type, I said that return values are defined in the fast formula type. This fast formula does not care about what variable is written is all care about what is the value is written it should be either n or y nothing else will work you can use any kind of a variable name it could be val, it could be value it could be like output anything it could be okay that is okay here that's all here i'm talking about nothing more so i cancel that i go back to that Okay. The one more thing I want to tell you, if a fast formula is uh, developed with a legislative data group ID, then you have to use the legislative data group ID to search. Otherwise, it won't come here in the selection. Okay. For example, I'm choosing everything. You are seeing only one fast formula. I'll like, you know, I'll display it how, how it makes the difference. Okay. I'll, okay. Now what we do, we go back to the application, we execute this, I mean run the fast formula. Okay, I'm going here. Okay, this is used in the generate statement. I'm not going to get into the detail of uh, total compensation statement. We will do it later as a different tutorial. Here I'm using it, which as for some people is probably GN. Yeah, this is I'm using it. I'm using it. Uh, Tool is fine. Okay, I'm using the same hierarchy. Just I don't want to run it for the bigger population. So, okay, now I'm using the first formula. Okay. If you see that you are seeing a true fast formula here, when we go and search the type, we saw only one fast formula, that's TCS process selection. The reason was the second fast formula was developed or like uh, created for a particular uh, legal LDG, like you know, data group. 
So if unless until the LDG is part of the selection criteria, you won't see it. Okay, that, okay now we go with what we developed. Okay, I'm submitting it. Okay. Okay, I'm pushing it. It's complete. Okay, I will see the public people process. I go back to that. Okay, report. I'll go to the report. Okay, the process poor people, but like nobody is completed. So let's see what happened. Let's, uh, let's see, we go to that. Okay, this is the one I believe I go to the hierarchy that. The first formula is basically processed by the child threads. So I'm going to the child thread. I'm going to look at that output file. Okay, I'm downloading that output file. I'm looking at the output file. See that. Okay. Now let me see what is happening here. Okay, it is entering, giving a person ID. Date is basically 2405-2021. That is system date. The effective date is passed as a system date. Okay, for the eligibility. Okay, now what is happened here in gender? Okay, the age is 41, the male. Okay, we are here, we are failing it. Uh, age is also, we are failing. Okay, now look for somebody who is female. Okay, now what is happening here is the person is, that is true, this is fail. So all the people, either they are male, even if they are female, the age is less than 33. The higher date is basically like, you know, the higher date comes as a default date. That is that not right. Okay, let's see higher date. Every higher date is coming as a default date. So what we are doing is something is not right. See that. So we have to look at that why the higher date is a default coming as a default date. We don't know. We have to look at that part. But we also have to look at that. The legal... Uh, like, you know, the legal, uh, I mean, the age is not right. We, age, we have to basically change that. There are two fault here. Okay, you take this person is the only other female employee. So we have to look at the higher date and this one we have to look at that. Okay. Now let's see. You go back to that. You go back to the video. Okay, I'm going to choose that. All right. Okay, I found a better date. Okay. I'm going to use this. Uh, oh, what is the date? Yeah, I found that. Yeah, higher date rather than a re higher date. I'm going to use it. This case, person enterprise higher date. Um, okay, then when you are giving a date, where is that higher date? Is okay. That is what I am going to use it. So, okay, that is what I save. I compile. Okay, refresh. Okay, combined successfully. Going back, going back. Sorry, compensation. Okay, I can go from here. That is CWP one. That is uh, run batch process. I'm going to resubmit the previous process. I'm not equal to monitor wage. Okay, you choose this one. This is the parent process, the previous process. I'm selecting it. I'm 
moment it was that uh, okay is I will resubmit and submitting the process as it is okay and I'm just uh, refreshing it last was 83 now let's see what is the new one Okay, so dinner. So I'm going back to. Yeah. Whenever you compile the first formula, that will basically trigger a ESS process that will that will do the compilation. Every time when you compile the first formula, is automatically trigger the process. Okay, I'm going here. I'm interested in my process. Okay, it is succeeded. This is where the pass formula executed. Okay, now let's see. Now I'll go back to that. Okay, this is how that basically information is given. Like, okay, whenever you write a pass formula, till you complete your testing, use the maximum possible locks. Once you tested your you done with the testing, you can either comment it out or remove it, that's fine, but try to do that. See that, you know that what data is coming out of here. Now the last time you found out the date is not working, now this date is working perfectly fine. Gender is main, age is, I'm getting everything, the date, the, current, the system date is passed in, okay. Now come here, like, okay. The person is female. Okay, last time when you looked at this and this was no, well, the person's action was totally no because the person the age was not in within the condition. The, the date okay, date was though the conditionally fine, the wrong date is fine, but the age was not there. Now see that person is there. This is there. This is there. So there, this person is the only person selected. Okay, we haven't written the name into that, so all we know is the person ID, and we know that. So out of everybody except else, only one person is processed. Okay, this is how you basically find out that log and you know exactly what is going on. Now I just go and show that how the person is working here. Okay, I'm going back. I'm going to the TCS monitor process to show you the one person is processed fine. Okay, that is that last process. I'm going to the report. See, one person processed. Who is the person is? Okay, this is the person who is back processed. So before we end this in this session, let me explain how these database items are working. We already saw that in a previous session that the context decides what fast formula item has to be used. Okay, in this case, what happened? We are using a three-three fast formula. Uh, per per sex, per per person age, per person device higher date. Okay, the first one is using effective date person ID. The second one is using effective date person ID. That that one is using person ID. Basically, uh, all the threes are using it. Like if you are summarizing it, the the need of uh, context are uh, person ID and the effective date. As long as these two supported by your by the formula type we are using it, the database items are used. Database, like you know, database item can be used. So let me see that. Okay, now we have effective date, we have a person ID. As long as these two are supported by the formula type, that can be used. Now, how do we know that formula type can be used or not? In our next session, we see that by choosing the wrong uh, database item, what is there? how does that compiler works okay thank you if you as usual if you have any comments suggestion questions let me know i try to explain that or i try to accommodate that thank you see you in the next session